Hi, I am Alberto, Chief Architect from Horizon, and today I'm going to talk about the cross-chain transfer protocol that is one of the key elements of our sidechain system. The cross-chain transfer protocol is one of the main elements of our sidechain system. Why? Because it manages the transfers uh, from sidechain to mainchain and to mainchain to sidechain. And what we are talking about? We're talking about the transfer of coins from main chain to side chain, then the coins are, uh, let me say, following the flow and the rules of the side chain, and then they're coming back to main chain. And why this is needed? Because, for example, uh, let's say uh, the usual example that we do, a car registry side chain where we want to allow a user to transfer the ownership of a car, this means that uh, there is uh, the need for transferring some value, uh, uh, let me say, against the ownership of the car. This means having a token there, and this means having a token with some value, and this is Zen. So we need to transfer coins from main chain to side chain, and then allowing these coins to come back to main chain. And this is the cross-chain transfer protocol that take care of it. But what is the difficulty about this cross-chain transfer protocol? Is validating the transfer that are happening from sidechain to mainchain, because mainchain doesn't know the rules of the sidechain. And this is the main problem, the main complexity of it. But go uh, step by step, and let's start with a forward transfer, that is, uh, that are the uh, transfer that are happening from mainchain to sidechain. So, what we introduced in mainchain, we modified our transactions in mainchain and introduced some sidechain specific outputs. And what are these sidechain specific outputs? Are outputs that are possible to be in, in, uh, specified in a transaction that will transfer these coins in the sidechain. More specifically, these coins are going to be burned in mainchain and after, when a sidechain node will parse this main chain block will extract the sidechain related information and when we are saying sidechain related information we are talking about that specific sidechain forward transfers so um, it will include them in a sidechain block and make aware all the sidechain network or all that side speci sidechain specific network that this for forward transfer happened and this is one of the key points because allows a user to transfer coins from main chain to side chain. Okay, but now that the user has the coins after the forward transfer in the side chain, he will be able to transfer these coins and transfer, for example, he's transferring, transferring the ownership of something, buying something, and probably he will get some change. We don't know, know the rules that are, uh, let me say, are followed in the side chain for uh, these transfers. But Let's assume that at some point, one user wants to withdraw these coins, so have them back in mainchain. And this was, what does it mean? It means that the user will have to make, for example, a withdrawal request in the, in, in the sidechain. And let's assume that the sidechain will be organized in epochs. And let's say that at the end of the epoch, all the withdrawal requests are collected and packed in a certificate that at the end will contain the list of backward transfer that has to happen for that specific epoch. And so this certificate is then sent to the main chain and then the main chain will parse this certificate, validate it and verify the correctness of the certificate and then allow uh, the transfer of these coins into main chain. Obviously main chain will also verify that the coins that have been transferred in the, from the sidechain to mainchain respect the balance of the coins that have been sent from the mainchain to the sidechain. And this will prevent some not functioning sidechain or malicious sidechain to create and to forge new coins in mainchain. So mainchain will always be safe independently from that specific sidechain or some bugs in a specific sidechain. And this will obviously uh, maintain uh, and keep safe our ecosystem. And so what this milestone is going to include, as we said, forward transfer, sidechain creation mechanism, and the next step will be uh, backwards transfer and certificate verification and sidechain balance verification. So please, 
feel free to download our SDK, check out the code and provide us feedback. And thanks again.